Hey, Tim, okay. thanks for coming out today. Thank you for having me. I heard you had it. some questions about real estate markets. I, I did. You know, we're meeting with a lot of home buyers. Is 2018 is really hot, and uh, places are going fast. Uh, we're getting a lot of people pre approved, and which means they're coming to you and saying, hey, we're ready to buy a house. Now, uh, in that conversation, what's the most important piece that you're seeing? Are you seeing just people want to meet you at a house and they've never met them before? Well, online, there's so much data online. And so they're, you know, clicking, go see the house, go see the house. And then I call them and I have to deflate their balloon. And I have to say, yeah, that house came on the market Monday and it sold on Tuesday and you're calling me on Wednesday and, uh, you know, or sold. I had a conversation about that this morning. They accepted an offer. It didn't sell. They accepted an offer on Tuesday. And so there's, you know, like a 5% chance it might come back for you, but it's pretty much gone. And so the the people after they talk to the lender, I'm really trying to encourage them to come and sit down with me. Like, let's have lunch. Let's go for drinks. I don't care. But we need that hour of conversation to find out what's most important to you. What's your schedule? How are we going to get you out to those houses the fastest? What's your relationship with the lender? Do we need to call them for a pre-approval in the morning before we go out and look at a house? Or would they be available at night to shoot a letter over to us? Um, and, and being ready, like standing there with our paperwork in hand so that when that perfect house comes up, we're not scared. We're not hesitant. We don't need to sleep on it. We've talked about it. We've talked about what's important. We've talked about condition. We've talked about down payments. We've gotten all that out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they can actually make an offer and focus on the house. So really you're telling me you can cater to people if they come and chat right? with you first? Wow. It's amazing. I know, huh? And they're not looking at old listings by going to any website. And then, it, like you right. said, by the time that that actually says, oh, that place looks great, it's already gone because they do not have yeah, sorry, too late. MLS actual info like you would be able to send people. Well, and it's not even the MLS info anymore. Like, okay, there are some websites out there that people think they're accessing the real MLS, which they're not. And there are a lot of websites that get data really fast now. There are. But it's still not where people are finding houses. I think of all the deals I've put together this year, three were houses that never made it online. Mm -hmm. um, you know, or they weren't currently on yeah. the market when I put the deal together for a buyer. It's something that, you know, I dug in my old database for, or I knew another agent had it coming up and, and we were able to get it together before they had to compete with other buyers. Or in the case of the closing I have next week, it was a house that was on the market last fall and they had taken it off. And my people needed to move out from their lease by the end of this month. Then they contacted me a little late in the game, not realizing how long the lending side mm -hmm. took. And we still made it happen. You know, it's really, it, the job of an agent is really hard right now for buyers. And you're just setting yourself up to fail if you're just clicking online. If you don't have somebody, you know, kind of like the quarterback with the game plan. If mm -hmm. you don't have somebody with a game plan for you, it's tough. And, and one last thing on that piece, too, is, you know, you had stuff in your database that came up and that's specific right. to your area that you farm and that you work very hard on. Now, you can help everyone Anywhere, for the most yeah. part, but in, your, in these different areas, this stuff yeah. is very personalized and needs to, it's pretty important. Well, you need to know the market. You need to say, okay, um, you know, under 200, sellers are getting their list price plus. Over 200, you might be able to negotiate on closing costs. Over 400, now you may actually have a week to go see the house. <laughs> like it just, it's different in every segment and then it's different in every area. Uh, you know, there are houses that sit on the market longer and you know, some neighborhoods of Minneapolis or St. Paul, if you're buying in White Bear Lake, under 250, you maybe have a day to get there. Yeah. It's just so different, and you need an agent who understands the different markets for you. And that's where Sarah comes into play. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate Thanks, Tim. The great info. Have a great day. Too.